Hi everyone, Vincenzo here with a new UKA tutorial. So a while ago I did a video on when you can use E7 instead of E. And that brought up the topic of major 7 and dominant 7. Today I want to teach you all you need to know about 7 chords. If you've been playing for a while, I'm sure you've seen and played these chords. Now, the first thing to understand here is that there are two kinds of 7, major 7 and dominant 7. These are two different notes and they are the notes that you use to build all kinds of 7 chords, including minor ones. But for today, let's just focus on major ones. So, of course, a very important question is this. What's the difference between a major 7 and a dominant one? A lot of people think that one is used for major chords and the other one for minor ones. But let me tell you that this is not the case. Looking at a C major 7 chord and at a C dominant one, you will see that the first three notes are exactly the same. It's only the fourth one that changes. Before saying more, let me briefly say that a 7 chord has four notes, whilst basic chords like major and minor only have three. Your starting point for a major 7 chord and a dominant 7 1 or simply 7 is a major chord. By the way, 7 or dominant 7 means the same thing, so I'm talking about the same chord. From now on, I'm just going to say 7 to avoid any unnecessary confusion. Anyway, now let's build a C major chord. You can build a chord in different ways. For today, let's look at how you can build a chord using this formula. So you start from C and from there you move up four half steps. Remember, you don't count C and so you have C sharp, D, D sharp and then E. From E you count three half steps. So F, F sharp and G. There you go, your C major chord. C, E, G. By the way, a half step is the shortest distance between two notes. Of course, you could have built a chord from the major scale, but that requires you to be familiar with scales, whilst with this method, all you have to do is count. Now that you have your major chord, let's add the seventh. I don't know if you know, but the numbers that you see in chords come from the degree of the scale from which the chords are built. So when you say C major seven, it means that the chord is gonna include the seventh note of the C major scale. Having said that, let's get back to your C major and let's add the major 7. What you need to do is count 4 half steps from the last note, G in our case. Let's do it here using the open string and so you have G sharp, A, A sharp and B. Therefore, the notes of C major 7 are C, E, G, B. The major 7 chord sounds dreamy and soulful, and it is really common in jazz. Now, let's see what happens with a 7 chord. A 7 chord uses the minor 7 or flat 7 of the major scale. So in the previous example, B was the major 7 of C. Now, to get the minor 7, you simply need to flatten this note, which basically means to move one step before, and so you get B flat or A sharp, same thing. If you go back to formulas, once you have a major chord, you need to move up three half steps in order to get the minor 7. So you don't count G, then you have G sharp, A and A sharp. So you have C, E, G, B flat. Back to the major 7, 7. As you can see, there's quite a difference between a major 7 chord and a 7 1, so you cannot use them interchangeably. By the way, 7 chords are ideal to play blues and funk. One more thing, you might be confused with the fact that you use the minor 7 within a major chord. Well, that is totally fine. As you learn more about chords, you will see that this is quite common, especially with more difficult chords like 9th chords, for example. Now, let me show you the shapes for some of the most common 7th chords. Let's start with the major 7 ones. C major 7, A major 7, F major 7, B flat major 7, G major 7, and D major 7. And now the 7 ones. C7, G7, E7, D7, A7, and B7. Okay, 
Let me tell you that in the description of this video, you can find all these cards that I've shown you arranged into one PDF, which you can download for free. So the aim of this video was to teach you all the main information you need to know about seven chords. If you like this video, and especially if you learn something from it, consider supporting the channel. You can buy me a coffee or you can join my Patreon page. Links are in the description. That's all for now. Let me know in the comments if everything was clear. By the way, if you want to practice some of the seven chords you've learned today, check out this tutorial for a full find by the Beatles. Having said that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my new tutorials. And of course, if you need any help, simply get in touch. Ciao!